What's going on guys, it's Kaze, welcome to the video. First off, I just want to give a huge thank you to you guys. We finally hit 500 subs on this channel. Today I want to do some lighter vibes and I'm going to show you how to create an awesome guitar vibe that's going to fit the 24K Golden. It could even fit for Juice World. The main purpose of this video is to show you guys the process of me doing some custom beat work. And I want to give a shout out to Savan Lu. He's an artist up in Toronto that I just started working with a few days ago. And I said I was going to start some melody ideas and some beat ideas and send them his way. I'm not going to play any of his music for content identification purposes. So if you want to check him out, links are down in the description. Without further ado, let's get into FL. <laughs> Wait till you see the... <laughs> no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Ooh, piece of candy. <laughs> Got FL Studio up, got the BPM set to 168, and this is just a good speed to have a mix of singing and rapping, which is exactly the vibe that we're gonna go for. So the first thing we wanna do is pull up a guitar plugin. I like Ample Guitar, so we'll start with that. If you don't have Ample Guitar right now, you can always get their free version, which is called Ample Guitar M Lite. The next thing that you wanna do is make sure that we get our scale helpers on. So we're gonna do the A Locrian mode. So I'm assuming we have to go down to the other Locrian. So the first thing that you wanna do is start off with some very, very simple bass notes. And you'll see why we're doing this in a second. We just want to get the general progression of the chords. So let's go. So let's try this. So that sounds okay. I'm going to highlight these bottom notes just so that we can change the length of them. the second chord to be a minor one. S to bring up the strum tool. The next thing that we're going to do is adjust the voicings of the chord because we need to make these chords sound more realistic. So let's try taking this D5, dropping it down an octave. Thinking more about this progression, I want these chords to be shorter and have more punch to them. It looks like we want to move these top notes down so that they're not really top notes anymore. Ample Guitar has a bunch of cool effects that you can use. There's a palm mute and you can do legato slides, hammer on pull offs. When you're playing this live, you just have to activate the keys that are linked with these effects. So, for example, if you want to do a palm mute, you have to hit the D0 key. D2 note. All right. So do there, 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 and there. But we have to make sure that we're going back to our normal playing mode. So I'll activate it right there, there, here, there. All right, how now, brown cow? D sharp zero before a note, it slides in, and then D sharp zero during a note will slide out. So. Woo! If you mute 
beat the strings and then give the guitar a slap. That might be that might be cool. So the last thing we have to do is play with the tonality of the guitar and we have all of these effects here, panning, double, I don't even know what double is. Let's see. Whoa. If you guys are wearing headphones, that was insane. I think I've got a catchy top line, so let's play this real quick. Ba -ba. And on the second half, we'll raise that an octave. Pretty happy with that. Next, we're going to move on to adding some effects to the mixer. Pretty much, we're going to send a guitar through a reverb, and then I'm going to do some parallel compression, and then we'll send it through a delay and all of it's going into this main melody bus, which is gonna route back to the master. But this is really the sauce that's gonna help your sound stand out from amateur to a more professional level. I already went ahead and did the EQ, but it looks like this. You just kinda want a light EQ, taking out that low end of the guitar, but not too much because we still want it to sound natural. Guitar reverb is gonna be parallel, so we're gonna send this through. We're just gonna left click this link and now we're automatically hooked up. So I'm gonna pull up Valhalla Reverb so you can actually turn down the amount of signal that you're sending over to your guitar reverb. This is gonna let you adjust how much reverb that you want. I don't know if it's a good idea to do this, but I always turn my stereo separation all the way up on the reverb because I want it wide. Guitars get really muddy around that 100 to 400 hertz range, so I'm not gonna add reverb to that. I'm gonna start the low cuts at about 600 and then do the high cuts somewhere up here. And I've never done this before, but one thing I want to try is putting RC20 on the reverb. Man, right from the start, that's much cooler. The advantage of doing the compression on a parallel track is that you're not gonna glue together your original signal. You get to keep the dynamics of the first guitar take. I generally like to use the Wave plugins, but I'll show you guys how to do this on just any old compressor. So the threshold, we're gonna turn down so that it activates. And generally, you can over compress parallel tracks. It looks like we lost 12 dBs of gain, so let's put it back up. We'll listen without the compressor on. So obviously it's much louder because we have this parallel track, but we can always turn the volume down in the mixer. Next we're going to throw on a delay, and all I did was use the Fruity Delay 3. The overall goal with the delay is just to give the guitars some more vibe. The last thing I want to do is add saturation on a parallel chain. But I ended up going with this lead amp and it sounds like this. I turned the mix down to about 40%. So there's this slider thing right here called the band one drive pan. And we're just going to turn it to the left a little bit. I want to make slide notes and make them sound really floaty. Pull that note out. I like the vibrato. Right click, we'll fill in each two step. I hit control A, control B, control B, control B. I'll try a slide up here. Now 
can start adding some perks and some open hats. add some tasty things to the intro so we're just gonna put in this vinyl texture so we'll just pop that in like that i want to add some light hi-hats so right click fill in a two-step i want to carry this groove out to the next eight bars That's pretty sick. So anyways, thank you so much for sticking around with me in the video. If you have any questions or you have any video suggestions, just hit me up on IG at Kaze Beat or drop them down in the comments. I'll get back to you. Hopefully you picked up some cool techniques and just like a way of looking at how to arrange and how to set up some elements for your beats. I'm going to say thank you one more time and I'll let you listen to the beat. I'll see you on the next video. Peace. Cause I let them drums talk.